This is Allison Gibbs, and if you want to know who the true liberty activists are, you can go to freekeen.com. Hi, this is Terry Lupo. Welcome to Low Country Liberty Report. Today I'm going to be talking about Free Minds TV. And as a lot of independent liberty media is popping up, they're one of the only ones that have had a long track record of a TV show. Now, this TV show is, um, if I had to describe it, it's an excellent gateway for people that are brand new to liberty, or starting to come over, say you were like one of those conservative slash libertarian, I hate that, but conservative slash libertarian, or democrat slash libertarian, or libertarian slash anarcho-capitalist, kind of that genre where you're crossing over from some uh, small government perspective to a liberty perspective, this is a great show for you. Also, this is a great show for, say, you know, you have a friend or a spouse or something that is just starting to grasp the concept. I think you'd, they'd really like this show as well. Hi there. I'm with Nick and Toby with uh, the Free Minds TV guys, and we are at Porkfest. Check it out. <laughs> that we just arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Nick is getting married this week. Oh, no. Uh, Toby, you're getting married this weekend, right? Yep. Yep. And so we're just up for the day, and I've got to go back and... You know, do the whole wedding thing. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, are you going back too? Uh, yeah, I'm going back with Toby tonight. I'll probably come back up for Friday or Saturday. It's really the big day. Um, yeah, I'm not getting married tonight. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, anyways. We'll, we'll see how the weekend progresses. <laughs> so let me ask you all, um, at what point did you all decide to do a community access show? Who, where'd that idea come from? Well, it was just when I first started getting involved with the Free State Project and meeting people. They had these social gatherings once a week, and we started going out to those, which um, coincided with Cheshire TV opening up and doing public access. And there was nothing on it at the time, so we figured, hey, um, there's we have nothing to do. We want to do some kind of activism. There's is an open platform. It's pretty much free. Just have to have volunteers and come set it up, and it's grown ever since. So how do y'all learn how to use the equipment? Um, and put on a TV show. Well, Cheshire TV, um, that's the public access station that we started on in Keene. Um, they do some of the education, so you do have to take a, a basic course. Um, but to be honest, uh, we, we did a lot of the actual equipment setup and some of the production side when we first started doing the show. Um, probably more so when Toby started because I came on later in the show. But now we actually have a crew that does most of that for us. And at this point, we're pretty much just on camera talent. Although sometimes when we're short crewed, we'll still end up setting up equipment ourselves. So, what's y'all's advice on? Um, so, someone sees this and says, you know, hey, I'm a liberty activist. We have a TV station. What a neat idea. How would you get started? Just getting a few people together. It doesn't take much at all. Really all you need is one or two people in the background and someone who's willing to be in front of the camera and uh, most places, so even not, you don't have to be in New Hampshire to do this, but a lot of cable access stations are an excellent platform that really don't take that much work to do anything. I mean, we, you can either do a show that's live and you put it out there and there's no post work whatsoever, so it's just however much time it takes to set up, shoot the show and take it down, or you can do post production work if you're more into that and taking the time. So it's not hard. All you need is a few people, someone willing to be in front of the camera, and it's a great pot platform that reaches people that probably a lot of the people who watch cable access might not log onto the internet and hear these hear this stuff over <laughs> and over again. I mean we do have a large internet audience as well because we post the videos online there, but I think that cable access it's a gives a really broad audience of people who might not have heard the message of freedom and liberty without it. So, is there any rules you guys have had to deal with dealing on uh, public access? Uh, well, there are rules dealing with, for instance, sponsorships or advertisements. Uh, we much like say PBS, we're limited. It's you can't do it for profit on air, um, so you can't have what's called a call to action. I can't say um, go to such and such a website or buy such and such a product. But you can say, Free Minds TV is brought to you by, you know, so-and-so, or stashyourswag.com, and, you know, you can say what they're doing at the website. You just can't say, go to stashyourswag.com when you're on air. I got gotcha. you. So you could interview someone yep, and talk can. about the website, but you can't say go to it. Right. Exactly. So it's kind of, there are ways around it, but it is somewhat limited. So you can't be running regular television commercials. And if we do ever get really rich and start making money off the show, we have to give 10% of it back to Cheshire TV. But that's not going to be <laughs> quite a while. Real rich. <laughs> um, is that a kind of a normal community standard if someone wants to get on TV that they will put anything on that a, Should be. a citizen makes? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, there's rules that if you're making... Uh, 
pornographic content or stuff uh, it has to be on between certain hours but other than that there's really whatever you make you can put it on public access. Yeah, I mean my understanding and, and thankfully the program director Lee Perkins over at Cheshire TV has been really good about um, following the rules of public access and he's a big proponent of the First Amendment so he's not inclined to censor anyone anyway but my understanding is that public access stations are prohibited by law from engaging in any kind of censorship for content so because like most city um, you know in Savannah ours is very very uh, liberal oriented TV where it's just mainly the city council sitting around arguing right I wouldn't know how well a Liberty uh, show would be received and something like that but they they have to put it on pretty right. much oh yeah we definitely get a, a, a good deal of hate mail from a lot of the people who are listening because like you said there are all those city council meetings going on and people who really love the government stuff and so when we come on right after them and people have been watching all this pro-government stuff and then they see us they do get a little bit ticked off but that's why we do it <laughs> <laughs> that's excellent yeah and it, it does balance it out I, I'm not gonna stereotype but I think to a large extent, the subset of people who are in the community of making public access television, um, they're in favor of the government running television stations and things like that. So you, it does I, tend to skew to one side of the political spectrum. Right. I, I didn't mean necessarily liberal. I should say pro-state. Yeah. and That's and probably a better yeah. term. That, yeah, it's true. I mean, there are some conservative <laughs> shows on there that I would call status, too. Status. That was, that was a bad, my bad. All right, thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate your time, and good luck today with your live show. Thank you. It's great to see so much independent media show up. So uh, you can find them over at freekeen.com. Whenever they have a new show, it's up on, of course, at freekeen.com. So go take a look at that. As always, this is Taryn Lupo. Good hunting. This program is brought to you by freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video,